North Korea launched several short range missiles into the East Sea earlier this afternoon, just three days after the regime sent two mid range missiles skyward. It's the latest in a series of provocations that appear to be armed protests against the annual military drills between South Korea and the U.S. that have continued this month and last. Our defense correspondent Kim Hyun bin files this report. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said that North Korea launched five missiles on Monday from a location near the northeastern city of Hamung in the north Hamgyongnam-do province. The missiles flew around 200 kilometers before falling into the East Sea, and experts believe the missiles were fired from the North's new 300-millimeter multiple rocket launcher. And this is the North's third missile launch in less than two weeks, with the latest launch of two mid-range missiles having come just three days before. Shortly after the missile launch on Monday, regional powers were quick to weigh in. China's foreign ministry called on North Korea to stop violating UN resolutions banning such launches. It also called on all relevant parties to exercise restraint and not aggravate tensions. Similarly, the U.S. Special Envoy for the Six-Party Talks, Sung Kim, who is in Seoul for talks on the sanctions on North Korea, also called on Pyongyang to stop all provocations that violate UN resolutions. South Korea's Air Force responded to the North's latest provocation by conducting a large-scale drill targeting the regime's nuclear and missile facilities. If North Korea launches another provocation, we will counter it with our airborne firepower and end their will to start a war. The regime has launched 15 missiles since sending a satellite into space atop a long-range missile in early February. Military officials in Seoul believe the latest provocations represent an armed protest against the annual military drills between Seoul and Washington. North Korea says the drills are a rehearsal for an invasion. While South Korea and the U.S. say they are purely defensive in nature, the drills are expected to continue through the end of April. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.